In this video, we'll take a look at the serial communication UART on the Thingy 921 device. We will be following the exercise from academynordicsemi.com, exercise one for lesson five. You will see that we will be using UART in asynchronous mode, so a callback function will be used every time there is new data. And you can take a look at the GitHub repository for this exercise, and you can clone that directory to your local drive and you'll be able to use it in Visual Studio Code. So let's open Visual Studio Code and we will be adding an existing application and we will be directing to the folder that we imported the folders. And after that, we will be doing changes according to the exercise steps. So this is our folder. We have our source folder main.cproject.conf and cmakelists.txt. They are all present here. So let's follow the exercise. We'll be enabling the serial driver. This will be done in the project.conf. So you will be pasting these instructions here. So we enabled serial communication UART in asynchronous mode as well. So you can take a look at the device if you would like we will be including the uart driver in main.c in this section of the video i doubled the speed because the only thing that we will do is copy the instructions from the website of nordicsemi.com and we will be pasting those instructions to the appropriate sections in the code so when you copy the section about step four for example you're going to paste that section to the step four in the code as well. Don't forget that, otherwise you will be having problems in the code. And at the end of this copying and pasting, you will be required to build a configuration for your device. And what we will do is we are going to be selecting Thingy 91 device as we did in our previous videos as well. And we will be creating a new build configuration.
now our build process is complete and we can find our hex file under the relevant folder we can go to build and then to zephyr folder to find our app underscore sign dot hex file there it is and we are going to use the programmer tool from nrf connect for desktop so let's open nrf connect for desktop then we will choose programmer from the list we can turn it on with the open button and we have to connect our device to our laptop for sure and after connecting it you'll have to turn it into tfu mode by pressing the onboard button and turning the device on okay it's been recognized by our laptop now we are going to choose our device it's nordic thingy 91 click on add file we will click on browse and we will go to our folder where we have our app underscore sign dot hex file choose it open it and then click on write and we will click on write once again it will take about 20 seconds or something to upload to the device now that it's uploaded we can turn our device off and on to see the changes to make the program run on it in the meantime i'm turning on putty but i don't know why i'm doing this while doing the recording because we will have no outputs to the serial interface so even if i press any of the buttons i don't get it, get any output but you can put some print k functions inside the callback function so that it prints out saying for example key one is pressed key two is pressed etc right now you can see that we have a blue or turquoise color on the led and you are going to see that so let's connect to putty once again there's no need for that but so once we press the buttons one two and three we will turn the red led on with button one or key one second key will be turning off and on the green led and third one will be turning on and off the blue led you can see it right now there's a combination of these three leds so right now let's try to find the all of case okay so they are all of one is red two is green and three is blue so you can have a combination of those by pressing these keys so all of them are on all of them are off and the other combinations for those